Hello and welcome back to the show. Renegades versus Team Liquid is the game to play now and it's going to be on Cobblestone. And Cobblestone will be followed by Cash for nice different maps here in uh, <laughs> in North America. So where do we stand on Renegades, Sean Grills? They're actually really, really good still, despite losing Naf. I thought they would suffer, but Jkim stepped right in, filled his shoes, and uh, they're going to play Cash. What do you think it's about Jkim in a sense? Because I feel like... He bounced around from team to team a little bit like AZ yeah. in, in a sense. Because I felt like Jacob had that sort of kind of um, everyone looked at him as like, oh, this guy has loads of potential. He's going to be a star. And much like AZ, and then they, they bounced around a couple of teams, which may be in the wrong teams for them. And then everyone was like, well, they must be crap then. Yeah, I don't know. Because when he was at that first major where he just broke, was it G2? Yeah, Jacob Fo uh Wait, is it Jacob Fox? Scream. Scream. Yeah, Jacob yeah. and Fox would play B sites together. On cash, especially. Jacob yeah. was like a support player, and he he like stood out. He broke out. That was yeah. his breakout tournament. I w I was like watching that event. I was like, wow, he got really lucky. Like a lot of those rounds, he made weird plays, jumping through smokes, and like just so happened, no one was watching the smoke. But he's really honed his game. He doesn't really play like that anymore. He's very very skilled, and you see him get a lot of multi kills. So he's a great player. Marvelous. Now we have seen good games from. Um, Renegades on Cobblestone, but I don't feel like I've I've like I watched one Dreamhack clan where I think Cobblestone was one of the maps uh, they played near or at the finals, and uh, I kind of haven't seen as much as I expect from them recently on Cobblestone. And I hope we see that today. Um, their opponent may be tough though, but uh, I mean it's always good to have a good challenge. So I'm very curious to see today where Renegades are currently standing and how how they will do in these matches and if they can get some points on the board. I don't know if we, can, if we can see the current standings. I don't know how far away the game is, so maybe we can have a look and see how things look for the time being. Oh, never mind. They're about to start the game, so we'll go into that instead. I like the green of the skateboard, by the way. It is nice, nice isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's nice. uh, green is my favorite color now. It's very much like the green base, like a poker green base, so that's me. I'm all about that. Your watch is even green. It is, it is green, yes. Well, we got the push from Renegades. On B, they're setting themselves up, preparing. Will they turn this into something beautiful on the B-bomb side, or will it be something disgusting? Twist It's going to be there to ruin everything. He only gets one, though. The trade does come with a good timing. Oh, oh that's a nice pop. It's an unsilenced USB. No one has checked. Chicken Coop and Elise goes to town. He goes to work. What else can he get done here? He's buying a lot of time. Now Nitro can get the frag from behind. This is working out really, really well for Team Liquid so far. The timing is really helping them out. It's a good dink from Nifty, but he'll get shut down by Elise. They didn't check the Chicken Coop. Yeah, and you can see they, they missed their smoke. It was supposed to go inside. Oh. Mistakes oh were made. Steal with the unsilenced USP. Was it Forrest who would do that for a while? A couple people tried it. I don't know there why they Look. kept trying that. Bob. <laughs> Donk. I mean, it just makes... It's just like... If you're going to do that, just equip the PT-1000, right? I mean... Yeah. Right? Why? Why not do that? Doesn't it, doesn't it affect... Does it not affect accuracy or I anything else? I think it does. It does, yeah. yeah. It does. But, so, I mean, the man wants to, you know... That's what he wants to do, that. So the man wants the to be suboptimal, James. <laughs> man cannot be suboptimal. Man must be optimal. That is a nice night for a pop -up. Not, not there. The Which one? Knife. Who? Oh no, the person we were just watching on T side. Red knife, red gloves. No. Who could it have been? Have to wait until the next yeah. round, maybe. To see it at the beginning, <laughs> the beginning. I like how how much attention you guys pay to the there. skins. Like, yeah. like, like there's like a David Beckham version of like one of these guys who just like his skin games are so on point <laughs> and like everyone tries to copy it. <laughs> like sets like actual fashion trends <laughs> in the game. I feel like Fallen did with the butterfly knife though. And the AWP always always uh, bringing out the butterfly knife. Felt like it became a style thing. Azza uh, is dead. Four, uh, Renegades bought four high explosive grenades in that round, and I do. I was very curious to see how they would use them. I don't think they really got anything done with them. But on the T side of Cobblestone, to get into a position to throw those grenades where you might kill somebody is a tall order. Maybe mid, if someone's by the door, 
Oh, I, 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 I just don't know where you... Uh, That's a good point. Where you get know. effective with them on the T side. You just can't, you're going to get shot trying to throw them in you know, a significant angle, in my opinion. I actually really risk TKing <laughs> because someone could die. Yeah. Right. across the map at the moment at Renegades. They haven't... They haven't pressured these... The A setup back. There's three players towards A at the moment. They haven't really gone for too much harassment on the B plateau. There's a, an information play from the A players. They, they, they're committing three, so they want to know what's going on. Get a quick frag. They can leave Steel on the boost. They can rotate one back. Play a bit more passively now. And I feel as though this has just been Renegades playing very slow and it's just not worked out. I'm not sure what they've been after. I love that play by Liquid right there. You can tell Drop was smoked. So the Drop guy rotated to A while Drop was smoked by Liege. So they were able to get three people at A and then look, now they have three people at B. Technically kind of four because the guy's by connector. They're moving around the map very actively. 30 seconds remain. Oh. Twist with very good timing there, leaving two Renegades players, sorry, three Renegades players alive. The bomb heading towards the A site, but still will be in a flanking position. Nitro sends his rats. Trying to drop a HG in case they're close. Trying to buy time. Twist picks off you still on the rotation. That's me leading a 5 versus 2 of 10 seconds. And at this point, Renegades simply need to die. 5 4. They might even plant the bomb here. It's down to 2 versus 2 all of a sudden. Okay, this is really nuts. J Kim could still win the round for them. What a really strange round. There's a lot to talk about, but first, J Kim in the 1v2 clutch. Lots of time for the CTs to set up the retake together. They have kits as well, a flashbang on steel. And J Kim looks for the first peak. Oh! Wow. Naf is in very quickly, and that's the round done by Liquid. I was kind of afraid for them that they would lose it, because they actually, as you mentioned, they had they played a really phenomenally good round. Yeah, it looked like things were falling apart in the two on two. I kind of favored Renegades at that point in the round. Shockingly, the, the rounds turned from Liquid's favor the entire time to slightly in Renegades' favor, and then Liquid closed it out. That was quite the turnaround. JKS. It's crazy, they didn't even have a connector door smoke. <laughs> yeah, that's nutty stuff, but here we are. Pistols out for Renegades. One flashbang. And they've got a heavy investment into this round, so they definitely want to get some damage in at the very least. Bomb plant would be a huge bonus. Nifty's got the pop flash, and he's standing by the smoke, so what is the play here? He's got the weasel glock. This is a blind spot, but uh, CTs would be, would be mad to be that deep at this point. Quick look, a Molotov and a fallback. Not much change to the formation, although it seems Liquid will get aggressive towards B, trying to eliminate any uh, any question marks in that this in that area, and surely rotate more people towards A. Yeah, really smart. You can see the more info Steel gets, the more info they get at B at the same time. Because the more people he spots, they're like, okay, Plash should be easy to take at this point. Let's get it. And now they're shifting more people to A. And the round becomes exponentially more difficult for Renegades. Okay, got a little bit easier there. Yeah, that was an interesting peek. AK given away. Yeah, that is a very strong pickup. Still there waiting. Slowly gravitating air everybody towards that A site. Uh, Renegades. Oh, that's a very cool timing for the smoke. That won't. Go that will dissipate around 15 seconds or so. Maybe 13, something like that. Now they go for the push here. Oh, through in the middle position. They'll line up for Twist, and the spray down is fantastic. Just two left, and there's not really even time to sprint to the bomb site. Great defense there from Twist. And that'll be three players surviving for Team Liquid. Four rounds on the CT side to the zero of Renegades. Yep. Twist is showing his individual skill. He's Honestly, he, ha he might be the most skilled player I've ever played with. It's either him or Shroud. He's ridiculous. Oh, is good. he Shroud tier mechanics? Yeah, think? he is mm. insanely good. The stuff I saw him pull off in scrims, I hadn't seen since Shroud. Like, you just win like one on fours with Eagles on the regular. Like, it was on the wreck. <laughs> it was like every day I would see something crazy. That is awesome. Nitro sort of close player as well. 
close player is Nifty, and it's Nifty's turn to be the can opener. But there are CTs close. See the counter flash, and here comes another one. HG grenade putting Nifty on 3 HP, and yet more grenades will come. He's exposed, he has no idea how exposed he was. Goes down for free, 3 on 3, and it's Liquid with the bomb site. That was a tight angle, I like it. Oh, Nafs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's so nice good around statue. So good. Now he's got set in the sandwich, and he's dead. So very dead. This is not a good look here for Renegades. Renegades are interesting. I... I've seen them play so much cobblestone because they seem to it always seems to be at the top of their map pool, but I, I often feel like it's it's a relationship that's been very abusive to them. It's an abusive relationship yeah. that they have with Cobblestone. <laughs> yeah, it's like hit or miss for them, right? I feel like I always felt like Cash was a great map for them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Cash always seemed a lot better than Cobbles. Yeah. Cobbles, Cobbles, Cobbles. 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 Couple of bubblers. Steal down early from these pistols. M4 picked up. Nitro alone towards A now, starting to back off as the players move in. I think that was a block by yeah. the Henry grenades. That has to be annoying. And that, like, that's very annoying indeed. <laughs> you like, feel like you're getting that kill, and then you're just like, he's like, stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> Invisible glass wall. The French patio. Walk straight into it. Three on three. Again, JKS still with that M4. Two of these three players with Kevlar. There is a trade there. Bomb spotted, but there's still time to rotate. Look how deep Nifty is, though. Up close to the P250. He will need two shots on these helmets. Very quiet. Nifty waits. Pop, pop. Very nicely done. And that will set JKS up wonderfully. The round goes to Renegades. Wow. Nicely done. Good job finding that position by Nifty. Patience on the P250 kill. Absolutely, yeah. I love the P250. I feel like it treats me well. If you treat it with, with respect, it, it's, uh, it gives you it gives you rewards. It's a steal. $300? It is fantastic. I actually will never buy a CZ with an AWP as well. Yeah, because the draw time? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It's just to me like the, the amount of times you see professional matches and people like you have a CZ, it's a great pistol, but the amount of times I've seen someone not be able to draw it in time, yeah, it, it is very common, very very common. Now, some good damage done early on to Team Liquid, so Renegade's winning that damage exchange, but. Position is another story. Right now, Team Liquid still with fine positioning around the map. Renegades haven't really forced them away from A long. They haven't forced them off of like around Plateau either. They're passive everywhere. Yeah. They don't yeah. really have any significant map control. They have everything that doesn't require risk. And since they're spamming the mid door, Liquid knows that they're not past the mid door. Because why would they spam it if they're <laughs> yeah. they're past it? So. Yes. Neither into the drop. And the exchanges will begin. Plateau's been smoked off, but Elise not expecting a second player in the drop switch. Trying to hunt him down now. Steel still hasn't rotated from the A side. He's just standing on A long, so I think he needs to get moving here. All the players Ooh. on B. Crouch peak from Nitro, but Nifty's waiting for it. It's actually working out here for Li Renegades. They're going to win the rounds. Liquid will save what they have. But I do, I do definitely. I mean, we've seen this approach from them in multiple rounds now. Like this, this. I don't know if I agree with the default that has no pressure in it. If you know what I mean. Like I feel like you can get away with it on cobble though. Cobble is yeah. like one of the only maps that just, you can get away with a lot of errors in your T side because <laughs> the CTs can't make many aggressions. They just can't get much info themselves. So you don't need to do a lot of things to bleed out. Utility and you know what a fun map. Key map control. <laughs> it is actually funny. The first iteration of Cobble that was forced into a major was just like the most awful thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah. <laughs> I told I mean, me I remember it. That was that was like the worst thing ever. The worst part, Dan? The random third map draws. Yeah. Mm. And it makes you wonder if that if like that is the reason maybe why they are afraid of canals, but I don't know. 
can't be worse than that original cobblestone version. I've actually never played Kinemis. Everyone says they love it though. James always tweets about it. I've got, I've got next level strats on Canals. Uh, James is already ready for like... I saw your boost. Like four it's evolutions. Awesome boost, isn't it? Of the meta. Yeah. It's a great boost. You can't cross to the shoe shop. No shoes for you. <laughs> the shoe shop. The cobblers. Kind of. Oh, they're not... Probably made off sites, but... I'll let you have it. Oh. Well, not too much to talk about it. Big boys. But I feel like, like you would be ready for like... The development of canals in like two years' time, you'll still be like ahead of the meta, James. You've already like made so many videos. Immediately when the map came out, you're you're already on the videos. I found so I found the most ridiculous, tiny things statistics on canals, like where the CTs enter to go up the stairs towards B. There is a like a tourist sign, and if you stand behind it, you can shoot through it with a P250, but not a Tech Nine. Really? Or a 5.7, for example. Yeah, it's really bizarre. So if people are on eco, there's only a few weapons they can shoot, shoot at you with if you just stand behind it. What? But, but they changed the staircase. They opened the staircase up now. So before it was a funnel, and you could just dance left and right. But now they've opened it up so you can't do that anymore. I feel like every time I make a video, they just nerf everything. Every cool idea, every little jump, everything. Just gets <laughs> it literally gets deleted from the map. Let's make Bardolf look like he has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Let's delete everything. You can, you can be like the specific canals coach for teams that like bring you in, canals consultant. <laughs> canals consultant, Bardolf. <laughs> wow, okay, this is different. Renegade is actually going very fast along the plateau. It's still over the man right at the ends, and that is Ouch. a fantastic grenade. The pull, the spray whips completely. Twist will take full advantage of that, as Jacob now might be forced to back away because now can definitely do some damage here with maybe some support grenades. This is all about Team Liquid. They'll pick off another two players. A flank is coming as well. Nitro is on the action. I think he spotted Nifty. He heard the scope, I think. Yep. Now Nifty suggesting he's moving away, trying to bake Nitro in. But Nitro's got steel for cover. This is going to burn some time for Renegades. Only two players left. Ooh, did oh, did he spot the head? Nitro, surely! Apparently not. That must have come up on the radar at least. Maybe he was looking at something else. I don't know, but he's dead. Oh, okay. okay. Now we got a game. And the funny thing is, that's not the bomb spotted. So Nifty can just go crazy towards the A bomb site while uh, JKS makes a gamble play towards A. And it seems that is the play because JKS is not moving a muscle. The scope will be heard. Twist will hear this. But JKS has got to make a play. Now he makes the play. It starts to run. But his teammate's already dead. This is such a weird round. It feels as though like Liquid really let this slip a little bit um, after a, a fantastic start. What was it? A 5v3? Um, very strange stuff. And now it's turned into a, a potential, well, a very winnable position for JKS. Who I love this post plant spot. This is, this is nuts. This is really sick. It's like a, a passive position that will sort of allow you a little bit of surprise. That is very precise work from JKS. Can't finish it off. Oh, that is very, very sad for him. Unfortunate indeed. Liquid will save the round, but they they lost so much money. You, you have to you have to imagine that they they're a bit furious with how this actually ended up. It's funny. The person that showed me that spot post plant, Twist. He was the yeah. first person I ever oh, really? saw use that. Yeah. Ah. He would go to it quite a bit. He got a 4K in that round. Definitely using that position myself, as soon as I play. Twist all over the shop. Six to three now. Still pretty, well, reasonably close. These two teams, you see the money's not great for either side, really. The Renegades have a, oh, an extra mild. Still lucky to get away with that one. He's been picked off early in uh, two or three rounds. Must be careful not to give away that early frag. Two CTs towards A for Team Liquid. Forced back early. So this time Renegades have some uh, significant map control at the beginning of the round and Liquid are very uh, devoid of information. Yeah, this is definitely, I mean, Renegades have changed things up quite dramatically against the initial uh, sort of lack of pressure T defaults that we saw. And it's funny because they're not defaulting here. 
Naf is like immediately taking advantage of it by pushing up quite deep. And look how the rotation's affected. We have four players for Team Liquid gravitating towards that A site. Before Renegades have really done anything. From Renegades' perspective, they probably think the CT setup looks somewhat normal, but now they see oh, Naf is there. No. And that should tell them that Team Liquid know they're coming to A. But they commit still. Perhaps they have to. 33 seconds. They are taking a lot of real estate though, so this burst will be more significant. Elijah has been spotted now, but so have the T's repositioning. JK is taken out, Twist can only get one, however. Elijah by the APC. Can he flank these players as they try to plant the bomb? Will he commit to this? He's convinced somebody's by the wood. Nifty covering the angle down to the 2 on 2 now. Both CTs coming in from a long. That's one of four places they can come from. The flashbang will tower the games where one player is, but where's the other one? That's the question. Molotov forcing Nifty away from default. How do they make this work, Renegades? You still owe the initial engager. Team Liquid holding steadfast. Now flies the one far back, but he's the only person with a kit. Still moving forward. You still owe surely gets a frag here. Nifty is the bait, and it seems it's worked out. Nafly can't get a frag either. Round number four for Renegades. I feel like Liquid played that round a little bit silly. I don't know what you think about it, but when you have like three or four people on a bomb site that get the T's should expect two, you should have a guy just like hiding somewhere basically, right? Because they're not going to account for you. And you, you basically are the safety net, you win the round. What happened was is everyone on Liquid took fights and they just all died. They just got traded out. Yeah, and those big sort of site, like team versus team battles, it, it, so much can come down to the timings. Of, and there's like a domino effect. If you have bad timings, you can just everything can just go really bad. Even if, if you have momentum, I agree. I agree with you. I think there's so many different ways to win the round for them because they, they held all the info. They completely outplayed Renegades in every single sense, except right at the end when it came down to the decision of how to take the fights, unfortunately, yeah. which, which can be very hard to understand how to do. Sometimes it, you just have to pick an option and it's impossible, impossible to know the perfect option. Yeah, they played the round perfectly up until that point. They, they, they basically like check, they, they, it felt like there was a checkmate actually. Yeah. Like it's a, it, was, it was a positional checkmate almost, yeah. I feel like. But not quite because it is at Renegades who actually won the round. So the mate was theirs. But, What's uh, it just Molotov? That was weird. How did Twist facing the floor permanently now. <laughs> Team kill was inevitable there, fortunately, as yeah. I had to go. 35 seconds, Nitro trying to bake some shots, maybe buy time for Steel to rotate, but Nifty will take all their money away. And now the score, the difference is just at one round. And Team Liquid have got $2,000. Life sucks if you're Team Liquid right now. Yeah. I don't know how you feel about Nifty. I really like watching him as a player. Yeah. I, it's going to sound weird because he's an in-game leader offer, but I, I think he plays so much like Fallen. The way he, like, jump peaks, angles. I can tell he mimics his game off of Fallen. Like, he, he yeah. Yeah, I agree with plays you. for info a lot. It takes aggressive, like, weird jump peaks. It's fun to watch him, actually. Agreed completely. I, th I think I said that a bunch of times myself, like how funny he is to watch. He's just like a, a really aggressive player. Like he's very active and it's always very interesting to see players who play that style, but do it intelligently. Because the smart aggressive play style is very difficult to master. Like anybody can play an aggressive play style, but if you're playing aggressively, essentially what's happening is you're taking more decisions. And so there's, because all decisions, like there's never a perfect solution. You're usually gambling on the information that you have. You're not always going to be right. So the smarter players you make that style work is because they are like genuinely very game smart. And if you add the skill into that, it's just so profoundly interesting to watch. Oh, he did the, he did the Vulcan thing where he's holding it on his hand. Isn't that random? The, the, the inspect. inspect, yeah, the inspect. It's I've like never one had one of those knives. I don't know. It doesn't happen every time. Like there are some random it. things, like the flip knife has a random um, draw animation, which like one out three times it'll do the cool one, which is kind of slower. So I think it's random. Random inspect. Huh. Ducks are cool as one. One thousand basic points. We will still win any frags here with this play. Oh my god! Oh my god! You cheeky! You cheeky boy! 
That is cheeky. That's ultimate. That's the ultimate cheeky, cheeky play, right there. Moving through that smoke at the beginning of the round when you know this. It's pretty likely there's going to be like three people there, but I love it because no one ever suspects that someone would do that. <laughs> and it's just a very tilting play to die to. Yes, you know, you're yeah, one yeah. out of four people there. You're like, why me? Please. It's like when you're second out of a door and you get shot instead of the first guy. Yeah. It's great. It's marvelous. I also think it plays into the strategy of this round because they, the utility sucks. They have to take plays and they sure as hell did. It won't work out for Nitro though. At least, however, also, well, it won't work out for him either. That's unfortunate for Team Liquid. First, like, steals. Steals play worked, but uh, the subsequent battles did not. I love the instant reaction right there to Jacob. Gets that kill and the guy boosts the drop. Knows his teammate to make like a, a large presence towards A, and he just rolls with it immediately out flat, just scouting the bomb site. Really smart. Containment from you still out. Will not work out. And an AK will be collected by Team Liquid. We move to the dying rounds of the first half, or I suppose we are already there. And uh, look at all the zeros on Team Liquid. Not many numbers before the zeros. So life is not going to look good in round number 14 for the horsey horse. <laughs> Russell Van Dolken. I don't like the white gloves with that sleeve. No, no. no I think you'd have to gross. use them on the T side. I wouldn't yeah. use them on the T side. You can't have one pair of gloves. You've got to have two pairs of gloves at least. James, you got me commenting on so many skins now. What do you mean I have? You, I'm, I don't. I've changed. <laughs> I don't like what I've become. <laughs> <laughs> if you buy one pair of gloves, you got to buy two pairs of gloves. Don't tell me that. If you buy one 60%, you got to buy four. More like eight. <laughs> you say buy, build, build. I actually bought three pokers keyboards, and then I built eight keyboards. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I built a lot more than that, but I will keep around eight. <laughs> that, that's so insane to me. I will keep eight. I might do another keyboard giveaway. Big reasons to follow me on Twitter. I've, I've given away at least two posts. I did a giveaway. I've never done a giveaway on Twitter. Not once. I've uh, given away at least two keyboards on Twitter. And I'll that's probably cool. do at least another one. Do they send pictures when they like receive it and like? Uh, like that. One person did. Yeah, the, the other guy it was stuck in customs for ages. I don't know if he's actually received it yet. Oh, it's the negative. I actually like how soft it sounds. It sounds kind of kind of nice. I like it sounds like a little bit more. Sounds like a remote control car with a like a, a faulty motor. Shoot, he, shot his, oh, he shot his teammate. <laughs> At least there was that. Actually seeing the negative. 1700. So Denied. Denied. I do wonder sometimes if, like, so th this is just like a basic of Counter Strike, but I, I wonder if people think about it, like, how to peak with different weapons, which have different move speeds and different moving accuracies. Like it's uh, like the CZ and the like the UMP are like two guns, which specifically, there's a lot you can do with the way that you want to peak. Like with the UMP, like those big wide swings yeah. are so good because you don't need to stop. Yeah. So depending on the range, so and 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 I do wonder, you know, people take this into account. The CZ is very similar. You can do like some really interesting wide peaks with the CZ that is just so hard for riflers to deal with. If they're holding an angle, it's very hard. <laughs> Sorry, I, I couldn't get over it. <laughs> <laughs> just spraying, just whipping all of them. Negatives are awesome. I'm still waiting for the five negative um, buy. Like, you know, someone loses the, the pistol, but they get the bomb down. The five negatives next round. Let's try to do an overpass and hold B. Really? CT water. Let's go. Nice. Ali, Ali, Ali. All right, so I do enjoy how Renegades have mixed up their T rounds quite a bit. So they'll be pushing into A long. There's two-man setup waiting for them. This is very common, though, this setup. Very, very common. If you, if you see the AWP, you can very much expect that smoke. If you don't see a player there, you're probably, you're probably thinking that the AWP has a guy in danger. I feel like their, second, their, their two flashes on A long are slightly too close together. 
if it's supposed to catch somebody who's looking back after the first one. I think it should be ever so slightly delayed. Anyway, this is the last round of the first half. All of Renegades are focusing on the A site, four on four, as they continue to creep. The crab walks, they're on the beach. <laughs> oh, I feel like, I think Steel mistimed uh, repositioning there because the smoke was faded just enough and yeah. they seen through the smoke. So that's kind of a mistake from Steel there and that's, it could cost Team Liquid. Love that flash from mid. And no one's mid, why do you even throw it? Nitro, very good for the shot onto Azar. It's been quiet here, but it's starting to get pretty loud. Twist, close, twist, far, twist in the middle. And there's round number seven for Liquid. Renegades lead by one. Yeah, really good like, comeback in that half by Renegades. They looked really out of it in the, in the early stages. They piece some, some crazy rounds together in the middle. I like, I like what you said, Dan. They did a good job switching it up. It didn't really feel like we were watching, you know, one stale style over and over and over. Yeah, yeah. They did a really good job of switching up the bomb sites, the paces, and they really grinded out those eight rounds. Yeah, it's, it's nice when a team can can mix it up. Sometimes, some teams just don't like they just have one thing, and it's just like. I feel like that's what we watched uh, yesterday on EU Cobble. You heard me vent a little bit about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, always good to point out. And this is a great uh, start of the round for Liquid. They just burst out of, out of drop in towards Connector. Oh my god, that was a very nice couple shots from Yusilla. Very calm. And it may be making the difference here because Jacob's going to work his way around, but he does get caught off. And now it's down to Nifty. He's been spotted out, though. Let's see if he can find a headshot. Moving close to the bomb, ticking now. And Nifty is going to be using this boulder here to try to get an engagement. But he has to keep pushing the issue here. If they're... They can hold him at bay with these Glocks. How does he isolate a player? This could be how, but Liege is going to be ready for that. So Liquid will win the pistol without too many issues. I wasn't sure. where, where was the first death for Liquid? Was it in drop or was it in connector? Uh, oh, there. Okay. okay. I, wonder, I wonder if that's what caused them to go through the connector door to be. Was the shot? Yeah, it must have been because there was a guy plat. That's kind of creative, though, to go through the window back to be. Not many people do that. It's pretty nice. I, I do like it when I, when I see teams, especially on Cobble, you see it around the A-long yeah. position. They yeah. understand that, you know, you can chase down certain positions yeah. and just, there's going to be a guy around there. Just 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 run him down with five people. Well, the reason why I really like going through the drop window to B is because oftentimes on pistol around, you'll see the coop person holding drop. Right, and that's right. a very unfavorable fight to take coming out of E-box. But coming through the connector door, you avoid that fight and you don't have to smoke it. So you can like, gain ground on him. That is nice. It's really cool. Oh dear. He's still trying to avoid being shot, has messed up his smoke grenade, which will compromise the positions he can hold from with his scout, which means he's back in the chicken coop. Speaking of which, two plays deep in A. Renegade's trying to, well, just waiting, really. I mean, what else can they do? They have a man advantage, they do not have a weapons advantage. Team Liquid not giving any sound cues away, but you still is hungry for information once again. He might not see players, but he would have seen the uh, the grenades. I think he might have spotted two players there, two or four. Pretty uh, good read that it's going to be B. Yeah, just charging in. And they will get some frags. Looking quite chaotic still though. The CZ is coming into play. They are able to do the damage to get rid of them. They are quite weak though. Nifty unfortunately can't really capitalize all too easily with just USP and eventually will be shot down. So the round will work out for Liquid. They are now nine against the eight of Renegades. Renegades on that CT side with that poor economy. Feels bad. It does. It's like, it's like uh, same thing with Inferno, you know? Cobble feels a lot like Inferno. Yeah, it really does. Or when the T's yeah. win that pistol and then you lose the full by eco, Oof. You're just praying you don't... You can string the other two straight rounds when it comes to the first gun round. It, it really feels like, yeah, you're a, you feel your economy so much more than you on the CT yeah. side of this map in the Inferno. Donk. Bonk, a top of punch. Need those nades. Nades. It's good damage done here by Team Liquid as they clean up the incoming players at Renegades. And they'll soon be on their way to round number 10 against the Renegades. 
We're all liquid on the, the leaderboard, do you know, Jay? Do you remember? No. I mean, we'll look at it any th at the end of the show, but. Yes. Just wondering if you. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. Fire round for both sides. Renegade on the CC side. Nifty with the AWP. Arctic Warfare Police. And he is on the Popo side. Two rounds between the two sides. Let's see what Liquid have to offer. Not many Molotovs on Renegade, so probably not going to see Plaid control here. Hey, my mate. Three players round a few bomb sites. <laughs> two can offer some defense of uh, Connector. JKS being the fourth of those, the fourth of those three players, because he's not in the B bomb site. Was that the woman on the M4 that? You yes, with the eyes. I am a man of flamboyance and panache. <laughs> Could not agree more. <laughs> Was that Moo? Did I hear a cow in the map? Yeah. Yes, yeah. you did. Uh, what the hell? I feel like Valve are trolling sometimes. Like I swear I've never heard that before. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I think there's I a dog. I think like late round you can hear a dog somewhere on cobblestone. How do they hide this? That's, stuff, the, that's like the weird one. You just don't pay attention to that. Yeah, I'm focused on, on shooting heads. Nap is going to be able to get a frag into the A bomb site as they stop the push and a slow round with a fast explosive finish. Another success here for Liquid. It's going to be so hard to break back in from Renegade. You can see they want no part of it. Well, things are getting dicey here for Renegades. This uh, this save will allow them to fall by next round, but it's not looking good for them. They're losing. A lot of momentum here. It's all with Liquid. Liquid building their economy, meanwhile. And also Liquid finding a variety of ways to play play the round out that actually works for them. With a var variety of paces as well. Did you see the foot? Oh, wow, that oh, is... Never mind. Those taps. That is real nice. Real nice. Hella nice. Not Hella. as good as a round, though. Not as good as a round. It's true. But it's two headshots, Jay. It's better than no headshots. I suppose so. Why so uh, yeah. so pessimistic? Very really positive. There yeah. it is, there it was. Frax. There it goes. Hella nice, bro. Hella nice. Light investments around the saved weapons to keep the money together. Three round deficit now. Perhaps some kind of bait set up from uh, Renegades. We'll see if it leads to fruition. Still keeping an eye, keeping the CTs honest around the drop. And he needs to do that. Back the chip for the CT, so we're boosting. Steel with good awareness. Abort, abort, say Renegades. Ooh, Liege. Evasive action. He shot through a tight gap. By Jacob. But still no kill for either side, and he will regress, expecting Jacob to fall back. Spotted him moving to the left, but there are three players around the A long area that could be a problem for Liquid. But it seems they're content to show presence and fall off and approach the B bomb site. Now, Renegades are starting to push A long at the same time, so they may realize this. Yeah, this is a really nice timing on this push. And considering that you still is sort of not alone, but. Why is the guy like say not leaving though? Yeah, it's a bit weird. I mean, uh, that is really weird. It's like they ex think that someone snuck through the through the ranks, but either way, the full rotation will be coming now, and they're sort of playing a retake there, just, go, just allowing the T's to have the site, going back behind the smokes. This may not bode well for them because the AKs have the best vantage points. We'll see Azard jumping through the smoke, but eventually he'll get taken down. The leash holding them to the drop zone is annihilating everyone as. Now it's down to Jkem, the last man in. And the last man to die. Interesting. I do. I, I, I'm. I'm not so sure about how Renegade has played out, out the round yeah. in general. I feel I, like. I think there's definitely a lapse in communication there. Yeah. Yeah. With well, just a lack of faith. Must have that faith. Take the risk. Take the chance, man. As Limp Biscuit once said. Take it. Gotta have faith. Did they? Did he still have nades? When he was on the site. 
I'm just wondering if they if they had any counter grenades because they they definitely need to be here to come. Yeah, I don't so. know. I love how bold this is. Oh, he's got JKS with him as well. That's so awesome. Oh, no, no. I guess it's not as awesome as I had hoped, but they do get a 4v2. He still is doing some work as well on the wow. B plat. Uh, seems all too common a position, this gimmick through the smoke for the CT sides. And the T's are expectant. They will punish. Stilo flushed out of the coop area. Still looking for more one versus one, but he does not have the bomb. And there is a flank coming which will soon see the bomb that flank from Azza and he might just have eyes on it now Ooh, some shoulder peeking but he has enough information his presence is a threat and steel has got a gamble he's got time yeah but he's got sound cues to give away to the opponents as well so lines will be held the bait setup is already there Jacob's got the angle but he throws a grenade I think he needed to keep his gun out there for an almost guaranteed two versus one. That could have gone worse for them. Still now 38 seconds, all the CTs are here. Unbeknownst to him, here's the running. Keeps his gun out. Nifty's had quite enough. Yeah, the round was pretty much over before it began with the, the ops just taking over. One mid, one B. He still did a really good job there at backing off. That was something I think he struggled with when he first joined Renegades. And you can tell he's gotten that like ability to now know when to take engagements. And I really like how he's evolved. A l he's evolved a lot as a player in the last six months. Six months. Twelve to nine. Oh, look, we're changing the pace. It seems that they might be. Who's ready for this? Renegades. There are three players there. The wall of smoke once again. As I might get two, still taking some damage as he goes for the repeat, and as Jacob tries to push through the smoke, but Nafly is denying multiple players. Steel picks off three on three. JKS with nice lines through the smoke, and the bomb has not been planted yet. And now it's the Leech versus three. Very violent round, but Renegades prevail. Yeah, I thought when Naf got the double entries, it was looking good. And then it was over. It was not looking so and good. then it looks bad. That was crazy. Very close game between these two teams. I really wasn't sure about Renegades after the, you know, how they opened the T side. I was like, oh, this, I feel like very often when you see teams have this like unsuccessful sort of de default style that they sort of just, it just keeps happening and then they just, they just they get frustrated and then just, it just, the game is over. But they managed to make a recovery and uh, even though there's been some rounds which uh, I think there's been some questionable things and improvements that could be made, they're doing a really good job at the moment and Team Liquid are actually not in a good position. I feel like this is the spot where one of these two teams takes control of this game and yeah. Renegades are best poised. Yeah, I think it bodes really well for Renegades that they stop that. It, I call it like a B rush where they just pre throw the rock smokes out of spawn or the, I'm sorry, the fountain smokes out of spawn. Um, one of my favorite things as an IGL from Cobble was if you win that round, if you win that round, it opens up so many things, so many fakes off of that. Using those smokes from spawn, you can really push and pull rotates so easily at that point. But if you lose it, it's like you can't really play off of it as well. You know, like right. the CTs have a counter to it. They're probably not going to bite as hard because it didn't work the first time. So, like, why are you going to run it again? It's a pretty deadly nade there. <laughs> Just almost killed Steel. In one nade. Down to 4 HP, now he's very dead. Nice flick from Nifty. And the round is over. 11 rounds for Renegades, 12 for Team Liquid. But Liquid, they are having money woes. What is the, uh, how many rounds have they lost in a row? Three now, okay. So building that loss bonus. Next round would be $2,900 if they lose this one. With a bomb plant that can put a couple few players in a position to buy. I'm sure they're definitely afraid of shenanigans from Renegades just pushing that smoke and doing weird things with the orb, so. Yeah. <laughs> Minute 35 on the clock, lots of time for these teams to establish what they want to establish. For Liquid to establish presence. So you suggest one thing, to make a play for another. Renegades have tried to ruin their timing. 
That's a perfect flash. Wow. You almost never see a, a frag from that angle. And ironically, Nifty Blind takes a shot as he moves away rather than press Q. And he gets himself a kill. So this, uh, this puts Liquid in a pretty awful predicament, losing someone early. They, How are they going to get themselves out of this one? The bomb is down still by Twist. They've got to find an opening on the map. And after that kill, I like the response from Renegades to just play passively now on the A site. They have all their bases covered. I think they have a uh, player peeking some of the closer angles on stairs. Not a deep peek, but you can see Jacob was going for that. A late smoke. That smoke is going to dissipate around 23 seconds. So by the time that smoke goes away, if there's no one there, it's very surely A. Grenades are flying in from A long. Oh, they're being lined up towards B. And there's no rotation. They're pretty much static renegades. They are waiting. They will hear plays in connector. And that flight will rely on steel to get that kill. And it seems A will be the play. All through the connector position, really. Nifty licking one player. So many targets. Can't hit the second one. Jackie is holding the line. Almost good for three. Time, two time. on two again. No time. There's no time. Oh, there might be. There might just be. No, I don't think he has it. Oh, they got all died anyway. <laughs> it was very close. Yeah. I wonder if he would have had it or not. I think because bearing in mind the hardest fight he's going to make is the That uh, he has oh. slightly more time than you think. That, yeah, okay, yeah I nice. noticed that yesterday. I can't believe he got that kill. Now, this is an interesting round because I think the team, didn't Team Liquid try to fake the B-bomb site with 23 three seconds left? In the yeah, round. well, they, they, like, they faked A, then they faked B, yeah. and then they went drop to A. Yeah, I, I kind of liked it, but at the same time, like, maybe it's a bit elaborate, yeah. a bit too much, maybe. It was a little time, I'm not sure, but wow, they're chasing down this defense, going real fast, but as is ready, they're all ready. It's deathmatch time. And Renegades, they are really taking control of this game now. They, they've, uh, they really look... Like it, they're in good shape, and the onus is on Liquid to find a way to take advantages here, because Renegades are sailing very smoothly. Yeah, and Liquid's gonna have to win a couple rounds in a row, not just one. So. Let's see if they can do it, starting with this one. Early grenades into the B bomb site. Will it be another fast play from Liquid? Their legs will most certainly tell a story. This could be an easy Molotov here for Renegades, but then it would exhaust. Some early utility for the CT side. There is said Monotov. I'm sure a smoke will follow. There like, it is. This round would be way more successful if they won that other rush. So like, could be in the money position while oh, they check for it. The They're darting through the broken wall. The bomb is down. The spray is in. And you still will annihilate every single member, it seems, on the plateau at the very least. And the bomb is lost. Twist, though, still has something to say about this round as he eliminates the rest of the defense on B. But he's got to go back. He's got to get the bomb. And by the time he gets back onto the site, the rotation Renegades will be in. They are taking it very easily, though, at the moment. They're not really overstepping. They're giving Twist a lot of respect. So Nifty can snipe down Twist, and he's well aware that that is a possibility. I don't see Nifty missing the shot on the cross unless Twist, he needs to drop a smoke or something for the doors, surely. Ooh, he found a timing. Trying to catch them pushing into the site. But you will not be able to do that. Do they boost one player out? Or do they go together? They could boost onto the tree position. But then Twist may try to flank, although Twist is now on the high ground. So if he drops down, that would be a sound cue. Got to be really careful playing around the smoke. It will only last so long. Nifty, is he holding an angle? I don't think he's scoped in. Checking the cue position. Where's JKS? Won't expect two from the same place. Dancing around the statue. But this time, JKS will win the round. Last man standing for Renegades, 14 rounds. I'm so glad they waited that smoke out. For, I mean, for their own sake. <laughs> I feel like he, he played that so well around that smoke. And I it, I just felt him winning the round if one of the teams. Uh, but they did a really good job waiting out the smoke and then creeping up right there for the trade. Nice. That was a nice shot. Nice. Tactical for Team Liquid. They can buy. How do they find success? We haven't seen many tag timeouts in no. my time here. That's actually a very good point. I feel like there was a time when we, it was just like, I was just mostly looking at tactical timeouts. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Juice got some ideas. Maybe oh, he's got no screens up. Ooh. Throw this grenade. Well then, very close at the moment. Nifty with the only AWP. Team Liquids with an early smoke grenade. Are they committing behind this or are they just clearing the plateau? Baiting the grenade from the T side, city side. There's a late incendiary. And there it is, a pop flash through the smoke, spreading out as wide as they can. Headshots will most certainly help. There is the bomb. But more importantly, there are no CTs in B. That's a great call. It's a great call. B plot explosion. One pop flash. Right at the time where I think it was Jacob would typically like work up or you still, I'm not sure it was the close guy right there, but right around that time where that guy would work up towards plot. I like that. This is getting really, really sketchy for renegades. They, their money's is gone. So they will save their guns, but we'll see 13 rounds for liquid. If renegades are not successful on the next round, then Liquid will equalize with them and their economy will not be favorable. <laughs> so this is getting kind of tight yeah. between these two teams. That round right there is exactly why I, I've really liked Liquid as a team for like the last year. is Because I think of them as like a very tactical team. They, they have so much depth, the, the things they run, like the double fake we saw earlier. But then on the most important round of the entire match for them, they do the scrimmiest play. They do like just a pop flash jump out on plat. And you just, you don't really expect that out of them. But they always do stuff like that, actually. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Oh. I mean, I say ooh, but in reality, that's kind of expected. I mean, yeah. people, people know their angles. People know that angle. I mean, that's, that's kind of why it's quite devious that they go for it. Because we were actually, I think, past the point when like people stop doing it because everyone spams it and knows the angle. So it's like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's it's sort of, I mean, that's the meta game for you. Yeah. I mean, people were tr abusing that peak until everyone learned the lineups. And would you look at, would you look at this? We've got Nifty and JKS. Somewhat separated on the A side, and Team Liquid making a play here pretty fast. We've got Steel lurking out drops, and he's gonna die. Lurk is gone. That's a good first shot from Nifty. JKS now wants a piece of the action, goes in for the spray. It's absolutely fantastic. This round is being shut down from Liquid's perspective. Just a leash left in the 1v4. How on earth would he do this one? Not quite in the mark there. They'll both continue fighting and it's too low to go down. Rotations, repositions. Nifty by the APC. One play coming up the ramp. Elise expecting a B rotation, but will he figure it out? As he's seen Nifty there. Hello. Enough numbers to trade, but you started to wonder. I liked, I liked Elise's decisions there. He actually had many decisions, like, yeah. like cho potential choices of how he actually, does he go balcony? Does he go... You know, like, does he just go, you know, wait? Does he go back through the, the rat hole? Does he go through the double doors? I think I like how he handled it. Yeah. Does he run? Does he walk? Like, he, yeah. had, he had a lot of decisions. I think he chose the best ones given a terrible scenario for yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I agree. So, Renegades, they have reached map points or match points, I suppose. And. Right now, Liquids may feel as though their best chance has gone, but there is still a chance. And they have still s somehow scrapped together three AKs, five smokes, a few Molotovs. Looks pretty, honestly, it actually looks really good um, for, for Team Liquid. I think Nitro just swapped out a CZ for a Deagle. Oh yeah, Nap had that. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. Nice. Nice. Let's see what they can do with it. Last chance to leave for Team Liquid. Jacob not wanting another fast play from Team Liquid, which is probably a higher po probability of it, considering they have shortcomings in their economy. And he's looking for something. Will he be peaked? 
Jacob cutting off Twist, maybe jumping through the smoke. There's a leash though. No, Nitro for with the Deagle. Now Steel trades. More Deagle from Nitro. And now his teammates are stealing the kills and all of a sudden Nifty's alone. Does he have the money to actually go for this? Oh, the bomb is down though. And that was a big, big opportunity that now has gone. And maybe with that lost opportunity, you just got to save. I think the best chance has gone in this potential 1v3 unless something ridiculous is offered up, but surely they would never test Nifty on this angle. Surely not. Indeed, they will not. He's going to throw a flashbang to sort of, if anyone was going to push him, that will slow them down, create some space between him and any potential assailants as he goes to save. They could have forged themselves a chance. And if you look at the money, probably going to over time. Probably, who knows? But it's likely. There is a chance that. There is. There is definitely a chance. A very solid chance. The nifty bis holding the AWP though, I think is quite important. How, how crazy is it by the way that Nitro got that decal <laughs> from Nafly? Yeah. <laughs> and he ends up getting the kills to win the round with it. Bam. Very nice. I feel like the third was his. That's really cool though. Nitro recognizing, you know, Naf's having a much better game. I mean, before that, Nitro was 12 and 22. So it's really cool that he offered to drop his AK. Because he's not, it's not like he's an unskilled player. We're just praising him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, evidently. Yeah. <laughs> we don't see that often enough. Yeah. Yeah. Or ever. Apart from that time. I'm trying to think who the worst offenders of, of sort of like not giving guns has been in the past. I think it might be Na'Vi because he got simple. Yeah. And in, in, in the past pass, maybe NIP was one as well um, back in the days. I'm not going to throw it. My fellow pro CS players on the plus here, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but I could think of a few names. I just said team names. Didn't, didn't name any individuals, really. But well, we would know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows. It's all fine. Everything's fine. It's all a big... Big jolly laugh, isn't it, James? It's hilarious, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> this is so awkward, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> These sound boards. 45 seconds for Team Liquid, who's have two plays in long A, so could this be a fake to go into drop and wrap into A? Could that be the play here? Looking for opening, looking for some kind of reaction, looking for a pick of some description. Molotov on the tree now. Here they go. One player into drop, and it seems it'll be dropped to A instead. I think both were viable, though. And, uh, well, there we go. That's pretty much the round and overtime. Surely, two, three versus four. It is doable. JKS will be a key player here. He has not conceded his position, unbeknownst to him. Starting to run out of bomb. Hasn't even gone down just yet. And he is taken it by surprise. Oh, Ali surely is out of this round. Up against the wall, that is not comfortable. Big plays from JKS. He's got a smoke and a flash as well. He's still very, very useful. Oh, the UMP doing so much damage there to Twist, a steel rather, and Twist with a very nice peek. Oh, it's all down to JKM. He's got to be very precise as one. Oh, the second headshot angle, perfect from Twist. A 3K for him as the overtime is secured by Team Liquid. That was a really cool B fig. It, so they're trying to yeah. pull the third guy that plays drop into the site, and then they basically go drop, which is his spot, and blindside the A site completely. Seen some cool stuff. Yeah, like that's that's the same team that just did a, a plot explosion, the most important round of the game, you know? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. diversity. So cool. Need to know when to be aggressive and when not to be aggressive. In the, the famous words of Cooler, for those of you that know, him, legend. Either way, we've got a very fast play again. I think we're talking about plant explosions. What is this? You still out playing around the smoke on broken wall, having success so far. Still, they need to remove him, and he's still doing damage. He may be single handedly stopping this. More damage before he dies. That said, Liquid have done quite some damage themselves. It's 2v2. Big flash over the wall as a by the boulder. Forced away from the bomb plant is Nafly. Cannot use the advantages of the fountain. Looking around the Molotov. Hard to see through those flames. And now Nifty is alone. One versus two. Seems kind of played from him before. 
It's got to be well positioned around that statue. Looking for the trade. Fragger first. Twist will eventually emerge near the plant for Tangle. And that's round number one in overtime for Team Liquid. I love how Nav took that fight. That statue. In the 2v2. Very unexpected. Oh god, he caught them. And now the CTs are forced to clear out their money after losing the first round. So if they lose two, they will very, very likely lose three. Big pressure here for Renegades. I feel like things always get weird in overtimes. I'm trying to think what the most successful rounds have been for Liquid. I think what's actually been most successful is actually not necessarily any one particular round, but just sort of how they play series of rounds yeah. and in how they um, create situations where it's just very hard to read what they're doing. And I think that's been some of their strengths so far on this T side. Yeah, I think their T side has looked a lot cleaner than when we saw at Renegades. Mm -hmm. Renegades had a lot of scrappy rounds. You saw um, a lot of clutch plays coming out of their players. Yeah, saving their rounds, yeah. actually, in fact. Ooh. Oh my. Jeez. That was two nades, right? That surely was two, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 22 health. Not a fun round so far for Steel. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely quite painful. It's, it's very punishing. And it's one of the things as well which will potentially deter them from grouping up for the drop plays later, or at least delay timings later on if they want to position players there to get ready for drop attacks. But Liquid now will start progressing towards the A-long position. I like this. This is this is, uh, this is a pretty decent, pretty safe default so far. It's a slow one. They are getting the pressure on in the relevant positions. They've managed to maneuver steel, uh, albeit a weak steel, into the drop zone. To potentially play Lurker, Twist can still take picks towards the plateau. It kind of feels like Liquid want to double back towards B, but we'll see how this plays out. The yeah, bomb is with them on A long. This just looks like a full gamble stack right here by Renegades. Not much info. Uh -oh. Position has been conceded on the A site. Desperately rotating. Towards the balcony position. I think the last grenade went the wrong way. Hit the tree. 13 seconds as the bomb gets planted. Will they gamble push through the door? It seems so. Over the door, in fact. Over the smoke. Nifty looking for an opening. Four CTs huddled together. Sharing body heat. But can they win the round? Oh, another forward smoke here. This just serves to help Nitro. I think he can use the sounds to play around the smokes much more efficiently than the CTs. And oh, that was a really nice second kill from Nitro. Wow. Finish things off for the 4K. I have a question for you, Sean, about this round because I was looking at this and I was wondering, you know, so, okay, they've got Steel into drop and Steel's going to be the lurk. Like, he, he, that's what he does on that T-set. He's going to lurk drop. But they left Twist with the AWP on... Like not watching B plat, but just near B plat. Yeah. Until until like right at the end, like Steel's already in drop and he's just kind of not doing anything. So I was wondering what the purpose of his position was. So this is like again something kind of going back to the things that I really like about Liquid. This round is so like, deep in the meta. So you have Steel taking drop, right? Making them think it's B. Twist probably scoping in at plat. What happens when you hear an up anywhere on the map, especially a late round, you think it's going to be your site. So it, it further encourages Renegades to keep four people B. He doesn't even need to shoot a bullet. All he needs to do is just scope. He just scopes, actually, yeah. and they think, oh, well, it's definitely going to be B. Why would there be a lurk op solo plat? Like, that's ridiculous. Like, why? That's actually so So awesome. they just triple walk out of the eight halls, no nades, and catch a guy off one on three. Okay, that's a sick round. Yeah. Like that, that's actually a sick round. That's why I love Liquid. Like they, Liquid does stuff like that. They're not always super tactical, but when they look scrimmy like that, there's reasons for it, and yeah, they can yeah. they catch teams off all the time. That is, that is amazing. Actually, I like that a lot. Oh my god, that's such a sick round. Blow my mind. Yeah. Calm down, that. It's time for a massive CZ round from the Renegades. They've got flash. They've got smoke. Who needs grenades when you got CZ, baby? Four versus two now, as Nafly does his best to clear these players back out again. Two kills for him so far. The bomb's on the floor, though, by the tree. Less than ideal situation. And I think in the meantime, either there was a flank or a boost for Nifty. No, he's gone down to join his teammates. 
on the low ground. 20 seconds, and it seems they will push this site. Elise waiting patiently as they're picked off by the boulder. Ooh, okay, well, it's, it's not looking kind of very good here. Oh, yes. At least with those long spray downs, man. He's, his spray control at distance is very, very good. And that's three rounds in a row in the first half of overtime. That is very decisive. Team Liquid looking very good. And their CT side was actually also very good, yeah. to be honest. Like, I felt like I it, feel like generally they've impressed me more than Renegades. Yeah, they had good reads all half. It's just they lost a couple of key gunfights here and there. I thought Steel dying early around a couple times cost them. So I feel like maybe reels in that aggression a little bit. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's going to be really hard for Renegades right now to win these three rounds. Liquid on the cusp of a Kabobulous victory. Just creeping all the way to the end of the plats. Creating all kinds of pressure, can get absolutely get a pick. He's got the advantage, what? Nah, how does he pull that one off? I think he's just, it looked like he was kind of running still. Yeah. But he manages to make it work, and that is very unexpected. Uh, unexpected. Unexpected. Legitimately, Dan. Legitimately. It was legitimately unexpected. <laughs> was it ineligible? Ineligible. 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 <laughs> <laughs> God, that is so bad, isn't it? It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's worse than I thought it was. No, it's so good. Oh well, yeah. I mean, well, it's, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a similar thing. <laughs> 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 oh god. Renegades fighting for survival. Three versus five. They've got 35 seconds to three versus four. Sorry, now it's three on three. And the bomb has been spotted. Time to get your skates on, boys. Nitro is waiting for them. What is the play? This is really difficult for them to deal with. Has Steel's position killed enough time? Nitro repositioning to the site. It's going to be about the bomb plant holding the line now. That's a free kill for him. What can you do? The clock is running. Desperation. As has got to find this kill. He has to find this kill. Six seconds to do it. Oh, that is absolutely brutal. Maybe the bomb can go down. But surely it is over. And it is 19 to 15 for Team Liquid on Cobblestone. I'm actually kind of surprised that it was this close. But I think it goes down to what Sean said. Although the CT side was quite like very well played from Liquid. It, they had some hiccups when it came to some of the fights, some of the clutch situations in which Renegades were very good on. And that, that put Renegades a real chance into this match. But overall, I think the class of Liquid is just one out. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Renegades did a really good job grinding and keeping in this map. Um, I thought they were in a lot of disadvantageous scenarios. And that's due to, honestly, Liquid playing great CS. Um, I think if Renegades cleaned up a couple things, maybe looking for a bit sharper on T side, they probably take this map actually. So hats off to Liquid though for taking it. A lot of cool stuff out of them. Yes, indeed. And well, in the what's the next map change? Cash. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. That's definitely uh, a good end for Renegades. But unfortunately, on this map, Cobblestone, they find themselves the wrong side of the scoreboard, and we can see that. It's a pretty good performance from the likes of Naf, who we saw even Nitro recognized by dropping him guns. Deep. James is jamming out. Jamming James. <laughs> After the break, we've got cash between these two teams, the last game of the evening. We'll see you back here shortly. <laughs>